All right. Uh, how long left till the demo is live? 30 minutes. Uh, 25 minutes. But yes, some, like... Soon. Soon. Right? Um, I may have found a way to be able to play the demo again after the 30 minutes is up. So, we'll, we'll see. Because maybe, like, switching users will let me do that. We'll find out, won't we? Plus, there's also the PS4 version that I might be able to switch over to and see if it'll let me do it that way too. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in that regard. Uh, well, Blue, Side Dragon, Big Bird, Regan, uh, John. I don't know if John's still here or not. Uh, but John, if you're here, hello, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, we're going to. We're just going to hang out for a little bit while we wait for the demo to go live. Um, let me make sure that, that I'm on the right game version. PS5 demo. Okay, we're good. That way I can go ahead and pull it up here for you guys. It's only a one time. It's, it's, you have 30 minutes. It's on a timer. So you have 30 minutes to run through it. And after the 30 minutes... That's it. So you don't have anything else after 30 minutes. So the only way to play it again is to have a different account. Uh, maybe, right? Maybe. But, you, well, you can't really see it. I have to turn my camera off. Or, you know, just switch over to a different scene. Like that. So you can see um, over, over there. 24 minutes. Um... Yeah, so I figured we can hang out for a bit, talk. Uh, talk about the last demo, because... So this demo is the castle. Uh, you know, a, a certain section of the castle. Um, the last demo was a certain section of the village. And... There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff. Like, there's a lot to explore in that, in that section. That we weren't able to explore because it's a limited demo, right? So there's only a certain amount of time to be able to play it. And, and that's it. So same thing, same thing here. So we'll be able to run through this. I don't know how long it'll take to run through it, but we, you know, we'll, we'll run through it as quickly as we can. Hopefully we have some extra time uh, to be able to, um, hopefully we have extra time to be able to explore the castle a little bit if not then you know i'll switch over to maybe the ps4 version and see if it'll let us play it that way so we can explore a little bit more on the ps4 version and then if that doesn't work then we'll try going on to a different playstation account and seeing if we can do it that way because I, re I really wish we had more than 30 minutes just because 30 minutes is not nearly long enough to explore you know these demos Because even, even me putting it on easy mode, which there was only like two enemies, like two werewolves, and that was it. So even me putting it on easy mode the, on the last demo, it's still like, it took up almost all my time to explore everything. Or to not explore everything, but to uh, make my way to the end of the demo. How many PlayStation accounts do I have? Just one. As far as I know, I might have more. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, I only have one, um, one account, but you know, we'll, we'll try to log into like a guest account and see if it'll let us do it that way. I don't know. We'll, we'll try different things. We will try different things to see what works, what, what doesn't work, what can we get away with and all of that stuff. Uh, with something updating, please tell me something's not updating. Nope, nothing's updating. Huh. Interesting. Let me see something here. K 
Cameron, what's up, Cameron? Why is my chat gone? Hello, chat. There's my chat. Okay. Is live for the first time? What are you talking about? Is this live for the first time? Rag, how you doing? Dude, I freaking love to play this game. I mean, I would love to play it too if it was released already. We, we still got to the seventh. So we're just, you know, this is the demo. And not much, Cameron. How are you doing, man? I hope you're doing well. Am I going to do a giveaway for the game? Not that I know of. I have giveaways to do for uh, avatar codes that uh, that Capcom sent over to me. So I got I to gotta give those away. But a giveaway for the game itself? I, I don't know. Um, I did a giveaway for Resident Evil 3 when that released. Uh, let's see. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, I did a giveaway for RE3. I think I gave away Doom Eternal, RE3. Last summer, I gave away a lot of games last summer. I did. A couple of people streaming this right now. I just scroll down and see. And yes, I'm fine. Are they... Sh Wait, whoa, whoa. They're not streaming the actual game, are they? I know the game broke the street date in Australia. And if they're streaming, they're going to get taken down by... Uh, by Capcom. That would be very... Very upsetting, though. And if if that is the case that the street date got broken, which I I mean not that is if that is the case that did happen, um, the street date get the street date did get broken. But yeah, I don't see anybody actually playing the demo yet. Because we're it's still 20 minutes. Yeah, see, everybody's just... They're going to stream the demo. There's, they're not... Uh... Yeah, that, that's what's going on. Everyone's getting ready for the demo. Collector's edition giveaway? No, you're smoking. You're on drugs. How many minutes more for the timer to open up? That many minutes. Danny, what's up? Pre-order. You get to play two days early. I pre-order the complete bundle. Then I can play two. Lies. Lies. Are you for real? Hold on. Now you're going to. Hold on. We're going to go to the PlayStation Store. Because I, I need to see this. I need to see this. Uh, it says released 5-6. Oh, God. Really? Oh, you're going to do this to me, aren't you? Hold on. Hold on. I got to... Now I got to go... Oh, God. You're going to make me actually, like, look this up. Uh, let's see. She says 5-7 here, but then... Hmm. Where, where do you see that if you pre-order, you get it two days early? Where do you see that? Because I don't see that anywhere. Yeah, I don't I don't see that anywhere. Sean, how you doing? You can wait two days. What are you talking about? No no no. If 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 uh you can get it two days early from pre ordering, then I'm gonna do that on Steam. Which I was gonna get it on Steam anyways. Let 
Let me see. So far, the only people who've gotten it early is like Australia. Um, but I don't see anything regarding like early release though. This man said two days. Look, if it, if you can get it two days early. Look, I said it before. You guys are making me open up Steam. You know what? If if the stream lags, it's your fault, okay? All right, if the stream lags, it's your fault. Because now I'm going to open up Steam just to see if, like, if, if I can get it early release, right? So, that's on you guys. It is on you. View page. Planned release date May 7th. Doesn't say anything about early release. So I don't know where you're getting that information from. Uh, package info. Let's see. Doesn't say anything about early day or early release on the game. It all says May 7th. See, I don't, I don't know. Everybody say hi to my wife. She's here in the stream. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know where you're getting that information from. I need proof for it didn't happen. Yep. Proof for it didn't happen. Now I can close Steam. Now I gotta switch my my computer screen back. See what you did. Uh, let's see. Not just a the demo. They all say demo. Yeah, it's all it's all the demo. What's up, Ashley? How you doing today? I calculated and it said 12 days away. <laughs> well, okay. So, I mean, you got... It, it releases on the 7th. So, from today... So, not including today. You got one... So, that's seven days. So... 12 days. It, like... Midnight on the 6th, right? Maybe, unless they delay it a couple hours. You watch Mortal Kombat seven times. Good for you. That is excessive. I don't, I don't watch movies that many times. And this is coming from somebody who watched Endgame three times in one day in the theaters. They called me three times guy. Not even joking. Asked my wife. She was in the theaters with me. Or she was in the movie with me when they called me three times, guy. Yeah. I promise you it wasn't sexual. So I saw, I saw Endgame twice by myself. And then the third time was with my wife. And then they called me three times, guy, there. Add your notification first and a second later resident of evil notification but see i'm more important than they are because i'm smaller i'm talking about my channel size nothing sexual um so yeah yeah they they got all the viewers for that that's the that's the problem with with streaming resident evil yes i call i cried all three times in that game i did and then I cried some more afterwards. Uh, that's the problem with streaming Resident Evil stuff at the same time as Residents of Evil. Because they're the big name for, for you know, Resident Evil channels, right? So, like, because of that, it, it's just very difficult to stream and compete with that. 
um, as much as a big fan of Resident Evil as I am, my channel is not strictly Resident Evil focused. And because I, I don't fall into any niche, uh, my viewer count just drastically f uh, fluctuates. Like, it's crazy. Cried during Endgame. Oh, God, I cried so hard during Endgame. Like, I cried so hard during Endgame. If it wasn't for Josh Lawson playing in Mortal Kombat as Kane, no, then we would, wouldn't have been that good. I haven't seen Mortal Kombat, so. I also cried during the last... I didn't watch the last Planet of the Apes movie. I saw the other two, and I didn't watch the last one. Like, I, I'm disappointed in myself why I didn't watch the last one. I like the Planet of the Apes movies. I thought they were really good. Andy Serkis is just amazing with everything he does. He really is. Poor Spider-Man, Mr. Stargon. That's, that's Infinity War. That's not Endgame. Infinity War... I don't cry in Infinity War anymore. Uh, like, the first... When, when Infinity War first came out and that scene happened, yeah, I cried. I cried like a baby. Um, and, and every single time that I saw that, I cried like a baby. But... That's that's Infinity War. That's not Endgame. You know, like Endgame, the parts that made me cry, Black Widow's death. Actually, Black Widow's death didn't even really make me cry. Like it 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 made me sad, but because like it just it happened so quick and then it went over to like the next part of like whatever it is, I, I didn't really have that much time to process it. Right. But the Iron Man, th oh my god, the Iron Man thing just destroyed me. Every single time, like even now, even now, it, it still makes me cry. When, if I watch Endgame. Zero, what's up, man? How am I doing today? Nighthawk, what's up? Uh, I'm okay. I'm eh, not really. I'm not feeling good. I haven't been feeling good. I've had like a very, very mild fever, anywhere between 99 to 100. Um, I'm I'm feeling as good as I possibly can right now. Uh, but yeah, I've had a mild fever, and you know, between 99 to 100, um, all day, and um, have, I've had a really bad headache. I don't feel like I want to throw up anymore, so that's a good thing. Um. But I still feel a little nauseous, a little dizzy, like if I if I move too fast or if I walk too fast or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's you know, I'll, I'll be alright. It's it, it feel it feels almost it feels like the flu, honestly, because like my my whole body hurts. Uh, right, like I took some ibuprofen, which helped with the, with the headache a little bit. Oh, and I also have a sty developing in this eye, which is like, yeah, okay. Why not? You know, I'm already not feeling well. Let's give him a sty to help with that headache and make it even worse. So this eye, I have a sty developing on the bottom eyelid. And it's just like giving me a massive headache because it's freaking like this sty is just... This is what's giving me the headache. This. Right here. This is giving me the headache. How long until the demo is playable? Seven minutes. Seven minutes in heaven. Tony Park made you cry. Oh, God, yes, it did. Of course it did. So I hear about Zelda. Oh, it feels to lose dog. Yeah, it, it's... I'm, I'm much better than, you know, when Zelda passed away. I'm much better now. So... Definitely watch the last one. Uh, and also, why Tony have to go, man, brother? Well, okay, that was his arc. That was his whole arc. That was his entire story arc. Um, he... he, Him as a character, like, they, they already did everything they, that they could with the character, number one. Like, my thing is, okay. Oh, God, you know, another part that made me cry in Endgame. The final scene where Captain America, where Steve Rogers gets to have his dance with Peggy. That scene wrecked me. Like, 
not because uh, you had that you had the iron man scene or you know the the tony scene yes that destroyed me but th that scene with with steve and peggy dancing at the end dancing to their song that finally uh steve got that dance that he he said you know we're gonna have to have a rain check that wrecked me for sure that wrecked me that was oh that was a good scene that was a good scene Um The ending made me sad, especially the proof Tony has has a heart part. Oh god. So many callbacks, right? Should go get tested for COVID. Listen, if it gets worse, then I'll go get tested. Right now I just I just feel like I have a flu. But not even like I because I don't have a massive fever. And I don't have any respiratory issues either. Like I'm not wheezing, I'm not having trouble breathing. Um, I like I legit feel like I have a flu. Uh, Flamer Gamer, what's up, man? There's so much blood in the new Mortal Kombat movie. How's it going? Uh, I can't wait to watch. I can't wait to play it. Thought Peggy died. She did. From old age. Excuse me. From old age in Civil War. Um. But, you know, Steve went back in time, and that way he could live his life. I just hope that, that he, you know, they bring back Steve Rogers to play Old Man Cap for Captain America 4. I feel like they need to. If they don't, I'm going to be disappointed. Like, they, they have to. Have I got my vaccine? No, I'm not getting the vaccine. Mm -mm. I'm going to wait till people uh, stop growing extra arms and stuff like that, and then, you know, then I'll, then I'll probably get it. I'm not I'm not in a rush to uh to mutate. Uh the MCU started with Iron Man and at the end with Iron Man's that well yeah, I mean that again that was that's the whole story arc. I didn't cry on the scene, I just smiled a lot. I mean it was a good scene. I cried because like it was more like <laughs> this was the legit this was me in the theaters. <laughs> he got the he got his dance with Peggy. <laughs> that's that was me in the theaters, like me crying because he finally got his dance. You know, that's that's why. It, it wasn't it wasn't so much that it was a sad scene. It was a good scene because it, it's a bookend for both of those characters. It's a bookend for for Iron Man because you know he uh, it started with him and all that stuff, and and his his progression from being. Um, you know, a character that was all about him to then being a character that cared about everybody else. And then, uh, and then Steve Rogers, his character arc, because he was a man out of time. He was like, he never felt like, or he always felt out of place because everything was different for him. Like he was always fighting a battle. Like he was always fighting a war. And finally, when he got to be with Peggy, the person that he loved, then that was, that was him, n like, no longer needing to fight that war. And finally able to find some peace and, and live out his life. You know, so that's, that's why it's like, you know, that, that's why it was important to bookend with Captain America finally getting his happy ending too. Because it, it, on one end, you have Tony, who got a happy ending, sort of, because, you know, he got his family, he got his daughter, um, you know, all that stuff. He, he was able to bring everybody back, and uh, even though he passed away doing so. So, you know, it's it was a nice contrast. If they had ended it with that funeral scene, that would have been it. I would have... It wouldn't have felt the same. Like, it would have had... Yeah, it would have been a sad... Uh, moment, but it wouldn't have had the same kind of lasting impact. Also, they should have kept that kneeling scene, like for real. The one that they cut out. If you haven't seen that, go go um, go look up Endgame deleted scenes. That kneeling scene. Oh, I cried so hard watching that deleted scene. It's too much.
Uh, I got nothing happened to me. That's that's fine, Ashley. But I'd rather not get it right now. Um, you do you, I do me. That's it. You know, like I said, nothing wrong with that. If you like, you, I'm not gonna tell you why you shouldn't get it. That's not my place. Just like it's not your place to try to convince me to get it. You know, my body, my choice type of deal. All right. All right, it's uh, it's almost time. It's almost time. All right, we get to play the castle. This is going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. So nice to finally meet you. I wonder if, if um if we're going to be encountering Lady D. I think we will. I'm pretty sure we'll be encountering Lady D. Oh, here we go. Hold on, I gotta turn this up. Or my volume. I gotta turn up my volume. Okay, and I need to record this because I want to upload the 4K version later for you guys. So, record. Here we go. Resident Evil Village. Demo. Castle demo. I have 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Uh, camera wobble off. Good. I don't like camera wobble. Okay. Ray tracing on. Why not? It. So I said this before. For those of you guys who don't know or weren't here the last time, um, ray tracing puts the FPS on on the game to forty five, which is not that bad. All right? It's not. It's not that bad. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's just do. Let's just do casual, because I want to. Uh, I want to be able to like explore as much as possible. Ash, why don't you stream at 4K? Okay. Even if I could stream at 4K, I wouldn't stream at 4K. That would be dumb. The bitrate required to stream at 4K is redonkulous, number one. Number two, people wouldn't be able to watch my stream. It'd be stupid. I don't have the bandwidth for that. Why don't you go stream at 4K and tell me how it goes, okay? Okay. I, I don't appreciate you coming into my stream every single time and telling me to stream at 4K. Okay, so we have no idea what happened to make Ethan be on the floor here. Oh, that's the... Oh, it doesn't have the thing in there. Okay. God, this looks gorgeous. Okay, that's one of their robes. Easy to pick lock. Current internet can't support 4K. N most people's internet can't support 4K. Let's be honest here. Alright, so that's the only way to go. Oh, hello, rats. It's Ratatouille. 
I forgot the rat's name. I don't remember the rat's name. Rusted scrap. Okay. Ah, oh, there's there's the. Okay, so I got. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, pop it. Imagine someone coming in the stream asking you to stream at uh, at two forty. I mean, the, that's the way it was intended to be streamed. Okay, it's a map. All right. Crystal fragment. What is that? Oh, whoa. Oh, shh, that scared me. Chem fluid. What? What is? Where have they taken Rose? Uh, can't use that here. Okay. Well, I like I like that. There's puzzles. That's a that's a that's a good sign right there. Mask the angels. Okay. Oh, dude, he scared me. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> And have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers. Would she not? Dalitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, here to make a purchase? God, this guy scared the crap out of me. So that's the upgrading system, the Duke's purse. Okay, so we got stuff to sell. What is this? Oh, that's my handgun. Okay. Your coin. I've gotten some new stock. Um, sure. So they pretty much give me enough to upgrade the gun. All right. Oh, I should have bought the shotgun. Well, I'm dumb. Till next we meet. Can't use that here. God, this looks gorgeous. Ah, this is the part from the Maiden demo. I could really use a flashlight. Oh, man. Love the Duke. So glad we have the merchant again. Ah! Ah, I mean, ah. I was never really like a huge fan of the merchant stuff, personally. Just because it it took away from it being a horror game when you have a merchant in there and you can buy items. What did I just pick up? I'm picking up items. I don't even know what I'm picking up. I'm just like trying to put the, the eye on everything. I know where the eye goes though. It's on. So it should be over. Nope. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. The eye was that door. But they changed the uh, they changed the layout. From the maiden demo. 
Granted, the Maiden demo did take place like in the 50s. Can I break this? Nope. Ah, there it is. Matthew, what's up? How long have I been streaming? Ah, I just started. Or, well, we just started the game. Oh! 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 Wait, why did she stop me from going in that room? Trying to work up my appetite, are you? So this is the whole area where the Maiden demo took place. Oh, what is that music? Oh, it's Lady D. God, how she enters rooms is crazy. I can't wait to have more time to explore all of this stuff. Oh, what is that? I missed that. Oh, ammo. Okay. Hey, where's the door? Trust in light. Okay, but I can't light anything. Ah! Nice! Oh, okay. I'm glad there's puzzles. That was a big concern of mine. If there's going to be puzzles or not. Oh, look, we have a flashlight. Perfect. Why didn't you turn it on before, Ethan? That looks like fun. Um, honey, if you're still watching the stream, can we get one of these? Oh, what was that sound? Classic puzzle. <laughs> How much time do you have for the demo? Not long enough. Like, I want to explore everything. So, like, right now, I'm just kind of running through the demo. Um... And then if I get a chance to play through it again, then I'll do that. This whole area is like expanded a lot. Oh, what was that sound? Um, n no. Dude, they take so much!
Oh, look, it's a kingdom of the crystal skull. Pipe bombs? Who? Okay, I can't go in there. See, I don't like that they drop items, though. We're gonna have to see, like, if we play on a harder difficulty, if they drop items still. Am I enjoying the vampire lady's house? Um, I mean, I'm not in her house right now. Oh, don't bite. Ah, he bit me. Chill. Oh, there's one behind me. I didn't even see that. Necklace. There's so much to explore in this area. Cassandra caused all this mess. Um, um, I'm sorry. A healthy man's blood. Mm. I can't wait. Oh, I like her. I don't have the shotgun. I didn't buy it. Your tonight's main dish. Where are you going, little one? I like her. Oh, is that the end? That's the end. Twelve minutes. Okay. Troy, what's up? What happened to the permadust live stream? You stopped that on over? No, I didn't. I stopped because I had to go take my, or pick up my kids from school. Okay, this demo, like I reached the end a lot quicker than the other one. Speed run? Uh, not really speed run, but you know. Rose, where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors, one minute demo. Only because this one I feel like is a little bit more linear than the other one was. The other one was um. How do I put it? The other one took a little bit longer because it was more open, so it was like more stuff to explore. This one was kind of like. You just go through the maze area, but there there's puzzles and stuff, which is really nice. Stop shouting. But we'll we'll see like since I have Tell me what is going on. Since I, I like rushed through it, like now we can actually take some time to explore. Always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Those 30 minutes. No, no. From your entire village? All that's left? You have 30 minutes to play through the demo as much no as you want. Left. After 30 minutes, you can't play it anymore. And gentlemen. So I have some PlayStation avatar codes to give away. If anybody would like a PlayStation avatar code for Resident Evil Village, then send me a message on Discord. Send me a direct message or post in the Resident Evil section in my Discord. And that way I can go ahead and give you the give you a, uh, an avatar code. Ethan Winters. Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. I can't wait. I 
gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. I can't wait. I need the game now. All right, now we get to run through this some more. Thanks for playing. I wouldn't play some more though. Yes, yes. I know, I know. On May 1st, they're going to have uh, the demo again. So, like, you'll be able to play it either the village or the castle. Or both. Alright, so let's see how much time we have. We have 16 minutes, so we can do it again. Here, I I'm, we'll go standard. Let's see if it drops items on standard. Skip. Alright, so now we can actually like look around and stuff. So the glasses they sell for items. Or items. They sell for uh money or whatever the currency is in this game. So that's that's um that insect chick's stuff. Or her stuff, her uh, outfit. See, I don't have a lockpick for that. Maidens of the Harvest. Remy the Mouse, as my wife told me the name, because I had forgotten. Alright, before we go there, let's see. No, there's nothing else. Justin Wheelock, how you doing, dude? It has been a while, hasn't it? Glad to see that you're you're here, you're alive. Ethan Winters. Mr. Winters. I don't want to view the map. You view the map. And that was for this room. Okay. Where have they taken Rose? <laughs> Let's see. Labyrinth, okay. Welcome, Ethan. Alright, so I wanna I wanna buy a shotgun. Let's do it. I saw you eyeing that one. Did you know? Everything has a price. Dissatisfying? I believe this is a fair price. Ah, I don't have enough. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons. Good day then. I want to see if like the zombie things. I don't. I'm not even sure what they are. If they're zombies or not. I want to see if like their heads blow off from the shotgun. Delivery of one male, three females. Mother Miranda meeting with Miss Mistress Dimitrescu. The Duke business discussions. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups, they hurt. Does a merchant live with the vampire ladies? Ah, it looks like you, right? I can't go out that way.
Let's see. Need some handgun ammo. Oh, I can't get in there. Alright, so there's nothing else, right? Chem fluid. The wine making technique of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses the legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensi intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Yeah, it's called blood. Her best vintage is Sangui Virgin Virginis Virgin Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. I don't have the item for that. The audio is really good in this though. Really good. They did a damn good job with this. Can you see in here from- oh, okay, you can. Smash. Yeah, th this is a very, very linear section. For that, I like the music. The music's good. I can't hold back any longer. Is she gonna chase me down here or no? June 9th, 1958. This is the same one as, uh, the same note as the Maiden demo. That music, though, is super creepy. It's going good. Nothing much going around my place. As long as it's going good, dude. That's, that's what matters. I mean, there's not too much to explore. How did I miss that? I missed that last time and I missed it this time. How did I miss it both times like that? Whatever. Can I just hit it with my knife and it does it? No, it's gotta be my gun. time I got. Alright, seven minutes. Seven minutes to explore. Not much, like, like I said, there's not much to explore. I guess this is more so to, like, show you the combat in the game. 
candidates. I mean, this section is vastly different than the Maiden demo, though, for sure. Which, that's a good thing. Robust appetite. Unstable. Overly alert at times. Uh, item crafted. I don't have enough scrap. That's some scrap. Like you can hear them. Where are they, though? Oh, hi. Ah! Damn it. They're, okay, their heads are not blowing off. I'm a little disappointed. I wanted some heads to blow. Alright, listen. Uh, listen, I got a pipe bomb. I'm not afraid to use it. Catch. Whee! Oh, he is so weak with that knife, the way that he swings it. Oh, get- Oh, get off. Cassandra. Oh. I know I said it already, but I like her. You know, the music reminds the music reminds me of Jaws. It's like do it, do it. Yeah, music reminds me of Jaws, big time. Hmm. 
Skip it. Come on. Don't make me watch it again. It's not letting me skip it. It's not letting me skip it. It's fine. I think those three females with the one being unstable is Lady D's daughters after being experimented on. You know what? Probably. That's a, that's a good... Uh, it's a good theory. Uh, we, we've already seen this. We can be chill on that. Brian, what's up? Those three girls are in faster tall ladies' daughters. Yes, I know they are. Are in fact tall ladies. Yes, I know. That's that's not a leak. Everybody knows that. I'd, I'd like to skip this, but it's not letting me. What do you mean an M? What is that supposed to mean? Is Goshen an M? You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left. So I like the village section better. So far. Like, between the two demos, I like the village section demo better. Just because, like, there's there was more to explore. Ren, what's up? Wait, did I miss out? Yes. We played through the demo twice already. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Mask it because you like the torture suit. I was making a joke. My wife didn't say anything or she didn't hear me say it or whatever. I don't know. So, thoughts. This game feels like everything they wanted the original, or they, everything they wanted RE4 to be, but they couldn't do it. That's what this game feels like. Um,. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's that's what it feels like. This feels like everything they wanted RE4 to be. Uh, I have to I have to check something really quick. Let's see if we switch it to the PS4 demo. Oh, I have to download it. Oh, you suck. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I should have downloaded it beforehand. Um, let me let me try something else. Let's switch users. And we're gonna log in as a guest. Okay. Let's see if it'll let us play like with a with a new timer, right? Oh, I think it will. Oh, it it, it will. We <laughs> it, it redoes the timer. Interesting. Oh, failed to connect to. The oh, it's not gonna let us because it won't it won't connect. Never mind. Never mind. Because we're not logged into the PlayStation Store. Gotcha. All right. Well, I guess the other option would be to download the uh, 
the PS4 version. Let's see, because it'll probably it's probably gonna screw with my stream, and it's probably gonna take a long time to download too. Ninety nine hours, guys. It's gonna take ninety nine hours. Uh, experiencing the demo, do you expect great things for this game? No. I don't. Um. I, I don't expect anything and I'll tell you why because when you expect things you're setting yourself up to be disappointed So you're better off not expecting things and and just going into it and going to enjoy what for what it is, you know Just, just going in and enjoying it, the game for what it is. That's what I meant to say uh, Never expect something Ever Okay, when you expect something, you set yourself up for disappointment, uh, disappointment every single time. So, that's that's the best way that I can put it for you guys. Never expect anything. Uh, but, am I excited for it? Of course I'm excited. Of course I'm excited for this game. Because it's a Resident Evil game, right? So I'm always going to be excited for it. But I'm not expecting it to be like Resident Evil 7 at all. Um, this is this is one of those things where I know for a fact that it's it's going to be almost entirely different from from what I, you know, what we're used to being, or what we're used to seeing in Resident Evil games. This is going to be a long, like, more along the lines of, like, if RE4 was a first person. That's what it would be. Um, I still did watch your last clip about the demo. I've experienced a demo. Uh, I'm bad computer settings. Can six gigs RAM run smooth? The game require how? What? <laughs> RAM. RAM isn't like the biggest thing when it comes to games. The biggest things for games is going to be your CPU and your GPU, and then RAM would be like after that. So I don't know what, I don't know what uh, setting or not settings. Um. I don't know what your system has as far as like CPU, GPU, and all that stuff. Like, I, I don't know anything about your system. Uh, just telling me the RAM doesn't really tell me anything. But you can you can check the system requirements for for the game. I mean, that's yeah. You could you could do that. Um. Yeah. How did I get a PS5? I bought it at Best Buy. Uh, I I managed to buy it online at Best Buy to, and picked it up at the store. That's that's how. But yeah, yeah, I I I can't wait for the game to release. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I just don't want it to be a bad game. That's all. I just don't want it to be a bad game. Uh, and I think that, not a thing. I, I know that there's going to be some things that I don't like about this game. Uh, there's going to be some things that I do like about the game. Uh, things that I don't like is, is the fact that the enemies, uh, they drop items. I don't like that because that takes away from the survival horror aspect of it. So... So then it's not survival anymore. It's it's now it's just okay, is the game going to be scary? And I don't think it's going to be as scary as RE7 was. Uh I think maybe we're probably looking at like RE2 levels of horror, which is not bad, but not the scariest thing in the world. I think it's it's going to play more 
along the environments and the atmosphere of the game as far as horror elements go. I don't I don't think it's going to be so much that uh that it's just a scary game, you know, like like the reason why RE2 is scary, uh RE2 remake is because the um Sorry, I got I got stuff on moving on my desk. Uh, the reason why RE2 remake is scary is because the way that they did the atmosphere and the environments, like the it's very dark. You can't really see anything except what your flashlight illuminates. Um, that's the reason why that works. Uh, RE7 is scary because it had a lot of jump scares. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, it, it was not so much that the environment made it scary because RE7, while the environment was creepy it wasn't scary not like dead space right dead space the environments were scary the enemies were scary everything about dead space was just scary like it worked uh where re7 was like it was just it was a lot of jump scares and that's what made it scary um re3 to me wasn't scary at all like re3 remake i felt like the original re3 was scarier than re3 remake was uh, cause RE3 remake played very much like a, uh, an action game, like an on rails action game. And that's fine, but it's not, it's not like the, the best thing for me as far as a Resident Evil game goes. And, and that's not to say like a Resident Evil game. Oh, excuse me. That's not to say a Resident Evil game needs to be absolutely like terrifying because it really doesn't. Like you can have a good Resident Evil game and it not be scary. Uh, a good example of that would be like, um, here, let's, let's say a good example of Resident Evil game that is a good Resident Evil game, but it's not scary is, uh, Revelations, right? Like, Revelations, it, it's got horror elements to it, but it's not, like, absolutely scary. Like, it's got creep factor, but it's not scary. And it's a good Resident Evil game. Um, you know, like, uh, OG Resident Evil 2 wasn't really scary. Uh, the action was, was ramped up, um... But it was a good Resident Evil game, like the survival horror aspects, the puzzle so, uh, solving elements and all this stuff. Like it was, it was a good Resident Evil game. It was a good survival horror game, uh, but it wasn't particularly scary. So Resident Evil games, in my opinion, don't need to be scary, but they need to you get you, like you got to keep the interest there. If the interest isn't there, then you're not going to want to play it. Right. Like you can get bored. Uh, that's the problem I have with Re Resident Evil 4, 5 and 6. Like I just get bored playing those games. Um, I've played through all of them. And six, I, I can't even force myself to play it at this point. Like, I tried to play it, and I'm like, I'm just bored out of my mind. I don't want to play it. Uh, five, maybe, like, I can kind of force myself to play it and get through it. RE4, out of that trilogy, out of four, five, and six, RE4 is probably the easiest one to sit down and play just because... It's not an on-rails action shooter kind of game. Like, it, it it still feels kind of survival horror-esque, but the enemies do drop items, and that kind of takes away from it. Um, you know, it, it's just one of those things. It's it's a very different, uh, different style, I guess. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I, I just wanted to play through the demo because the demo was here, and it was exciting. Um... I did like the village portion better, so I'm I like we'll see how it goes. How how the game is broken up into different sections, because every Resident Evil game has the different sections in it. Like you'll have like the beginning section, which is usually the main area, like the mansion in RE1, the RPD in RE2, um, Raccoon City in RE3. Uh, like every every. Every game has like their specific sections, like uh, the Baker Estate in RE RE7, or like the main house, and then it breaks off into sections from there. So you got like uh, in RE7, you have the the old house where Marguerite is, and you have the section with Lucas, and then you have the end of the game. And then RE1, you have the uh, the guard house. Then it goes off into the Umbrella Lab. Uh, you know, like every every Resident Evil game is broke off into sections. So I'm I'm wondering how this game is going to handle breaking it off into different sections and if it does it in in a good cohesive manner that keeps interest and doesn't feel drawn out in any way so we'll see how that goes when the game releases 
Until then, though, I'm going to get out. Thank you guys so much for being here today. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Everybody have a good rest of your night. Uh, I have avatar codes to give away, so go into the Discord section, and I'll, I'll tell everybody in uh, in Discord as well. But go into the Discord section, into the Resident Evil section of it, um, and let me know if you want PlayStation avatar codes, because I have a lot of those to give away that Capcom keeps sending me. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm out, guys. Peace out.